I'm worried about him injuring himself. <laughs> hey guys, this is a new segment that my producers have me doing where they actually present for me videos that I have never seen before. To find out, we brought together five men and had them rank each other based on their perceived strength. Then we put them to the test to reveal their actual strength. This That's fascinating, right? So just the visual judgment when you look at somebody and you're like, this is what this person is, these are their strengths, it's a very superficial judgment. We all do that, right? So they're doing this with these five men, just they rank themselves. So it'll be interesting to see what it reveals. I've always been involved with sports, wrestling, football. I started powerlifting as of very recently though. Yeah, I was um, also in eighth grade, it was during the summer, and I was at a pool party with all my friends. We were just like jumping up down the pool, like just having a great time, and then one of the girls that I had a crush on was like, hey Edward, carry me, throw me into the pool. I was like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Just to put it out there, I think I'm just gonna rank myself as the least strongest. Oh my god, Edward, stop. You're shaking so much. I will go that way too. I don't, don't wanna know. be just, I, just For me, I think it's between you two. Nah. I feel like you- So this is interesting, right? So far we have a bunch of guys and they have been telling stories of how strong, like there's like, man, I work out and they're each kind of going through. And this is the first guy that, his story is one where he's saying, hey, I wasn't that strong. I was shaking and carrying this girl. So it's funny as men when we stand there, right? There's guys that are like, hey, I'm super strong. And then here's a guy that's like, yeah, I, wasn't, I was shaking, carrying this girl. He's letting the men around him know, I don't think I'm as tough as you. That's the indicator that I see. Or he's sandbagging. <laughs> I will go that way too. I don't, don't want to be just, I, just for me. I think it's between you two. Nah. I feel like you you just have a lot of knowledge and you know a lot and your motivation. I just feel like the guy you know, saying it's between you two. You just, he looks super fit himself, but the, he's looking at a shorter guy with really strong legs. And then the, there's this big Asian guy that's been talking about his lifting, how he used to be bullied. You should be in the front, and then you should be right behind him. If you want to put me in the front, you're going to have to make me, you're going to have to actually physically move. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I think I, it's between you two to be. Well, okay, yeah, if, we're, if we're talking like raw strength, like muscle mass, uh, like genetically, I feel like I'm just not built to lift. Like I literally had to eat 800 grams of carbs a day to get to where I am now. But that's the thing, you focus time. on that, your yeah. life exactly. focus on that, and I'm not. You can see the progress, so. <laughs> Get up there, buddy. Oh, I feel like I shouldn't be right here. <laughs> it's not for me. You see, but there's a problem that I have with it. That mm -hmm. I mean, looks aren't everything, but you look strong. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. like, it can be deceiving. Right. That's why I feel like we, if we have like a clear definition on what we are defining strength as. We're also gonna test ourselves with that lift. That lift. So, so I think we should we go based off of that. We ourselves with that. All right, so who do we think is going to deadlift the most? How do you feel being there? Uh, I feel like we should switch. You too? Yeah. I actually right. feel like the raw power and the raw strength that you have without the technique, if we just compare that, I feel like either of you two are stronger than me. Mm. I'm, I'm very unsure of that. I, I, I don't agree, to be honest, but... For him to be in the middle, <laughs> I don't agree. I don't agree. <laughs> you didn't sell yeah. me on that one. <laughs> so this is an interesting dynamic that I'm watching, and it's something that I see all the time, right? All of these guys are standing here, they're having a good conversation about strength. Now they're evaluating each other, and these are nice guys, all of them. So these guys are not trying to dominate. They're just like, yeah, you look strong, you know, but it is almost as if they are diminishing themselves, right? When we talk about, when I always say Brene Brown's quote, don't shrink, don't puff up, stand your sacred ground. I don't feel like these guys are standing their sacred ground. They are in the process of diminishing themselves and being like, no, you're stronger than me. And it's a nice social thing that we do sometimes to try to make people comfortable. They're getting to know each other. They don't really understand what is real versus what they see. It's a good social engagement and exercise, but it's not necessarily representative of what they truly feel. My guess is there's a couple guys in here that are like, yeah, I'm strong. I, I'm stronger than you, but they don't want to step into that place because what if they aren't? What if the other person's stronger? So they, they're sandbagging. I feel like all these guys are sandbagging 
I don't, and one guy that said he carried the girl, he just walked right to the end and put himself in the weakest place from the beginning. He may not be the weakest. That would. <laughs> okay. I think Isaac should stay number one though, okay. and then and then I think these two should switch. I agree with that. That's Can I actually I mean. ask, what do you do for a living? Military. Military. Got it. Oh, and <laughs> what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a mail carrier. Mail, mail carrier. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good too. I don't know. You guys walk a lot. Maybe I, know that. I feel like. Well, I feel like mail, car mail carriers can be strong. Too, so <laughs> military yeah. training yeah. versus yeah. carrying mail, and they. Military. Army or uh, army. army. Military guy looks way tougher, in my opinion. <laughs> Well, you still jacked as hell, man. So, <laughs> yo, you gotta find aliens, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I think switch. I switch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Switch, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I also agree with that. thinking because I do, I've been doing CrossFit since last year. Maybe I do have a good technique for what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you already have a very strong base. Maybe switch, switch you two. But what do you do? Do you yeah. do gym? I would agree with that. I do powerlifting. Oh, powerlifting. Yeah. yeah. That's why I think. But you said you he started might... recently, right? Yes. Uh, oh. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I see your squat? Sure. Hmm. I will say switch. They're checking for. This, the guy that's the shortest, he's very fit looking and he put himself second to last and now he's bringing himself up because he doesn't want to be um, Got a crack in there, he a like crack. that. I just want to add like a 10. Okay. Yeah, I think that's my max right there. Wait, is this about to be a PR? I've only done this once before. Hey, you're about to do this so second time. Yeah. Take your time. Get it. Let's get it. Yep. Lock in. Come on. Lock in. So Edward, who is the, considered the weakest guy in the bunch, just um, deadlifted 315 pounds. He believed he could only do 290. And now the shortest guy who has been like, he looks really strong, talks about deadlifting. He does the 315 pounds too, really well. I think. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't know that I could do this. <laughs> he this had no idea he could lift it. It was his first time. He got a personal record. Come on. Easy work. Now he's going for 335 pounds. Oh, yeah. Right? He's, he's pushing himself into spaces he didn't know he could do because he's with these guys and they're all trying to see how strong they are. They're measuring each other. It's kind of cool how it lifts you, right? Because they're being supportive. It's cool how that group mentality where they're helping each other and now they're just all behind him and they're like, keep going, man, keep going. I love it. They're building each other up. 345 pounds. His personal record was 315. Whew. He did it. Wow. He believed he could do 285 and he did 345. The gap between what he thought and what he did is significant. You've done it before, right? Nah. No? Never. PR? Yeah, this will be a PR. Let's get it, dude. Yeah, let's get it. So this guy's going right in for a personal record. He's a mail carrier. He's going in for 425 pounds. Wow. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, he lifted it, but that was not good form. I'm worried about him injuring himself, but he did it. It's crazy. Kick back. You have a kick back when you deadlift. We both did record. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, this guy's got raw power. Okay, now we get the military guy. Who's? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, he's going. He's strong looking. He's going for 475. Holy crap, he did it. 475 pounds. He projected that he would do that. So he's already done this. Just be so much stronger. Let's go five place. It's a lot of weight and he about to make it look easy. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. He's like carrying in weight, all of us. So here's the guy that they figured was the strongest of the group. He's this big um, Asian dude that is, you know, he looks strong. He talked about working out. Oh, 
Nice. Disrespect yeah. this weight real quick. He's going for 525 pounds. This would make him. You got it. Let's go, let's yeah. go, let's go, man. Come on. Wow. Get dialed in. That's a lot of weight, man. In, I don't deadlift this. Come yeah. on, come on, come on. Get that, yeah. Yeah. get that. Nice. Woo, come on. Nice. Up, 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 get that, get that. Oh. Oh. He projected 495 pounds, he did it. So I was happy to see him keep pushing, and it gives me something to strive for, because I haven't really seen somebody lift weight like that. So I'm looking at the actual ranking now that they've done it, right? And the guy that they thought was strongest stayed there. He was the strongest. But then the middle group, um, they kind of shuffled around. Their, their, uh, their original ranking actually First and second was right, and then third and fourth was wrong. And then the guy that was talking about him being weak, <laughs> he was the weakest, I guess. It's astonishing to see that they actually did pretty well. They really only had one mistake um, because the short, strong-looking guy, he's shorter, his leg muscles are so big, I think that maybe they started feeling like, uh, you know, he was stronger than that. But he is... Uh, not as strong as it looked, but what's really interesting, honestly, with this whole process is as these men met and began talking about who's strong, these are good guys, they were building each other up. They were kind of, hey, man, you look strong, and they're doing all this thing. The guy that's the weakest, he pulled himself right out of that. He did not engage. He immediately put himself as the weakest, and sure enough, he was. He walked right to the mat, and then the other ones they all achieved greater things lifting than they thought they would. They're, they had projected lifts, and all of them lifted to substantially above that capacity. Even the guy who was weakest lift far beyond what he thought he could do. And that comes from that support, that willingness to look at each other in a group and say, man, you look strong. You're, you're strong looking dude. I think you can do this. And that mindset shift, building each other, it's, it's incredible, the power it has. In fact, did you know that if you are standing in a room, I've done this at uh, clinics many, many times when I'm, when I'm teaching leadership teams, I'll bring somebody to the front of the room and I will literally just have them put out an arm and I will tell everyone in the room to think a negative, like something negative about this person and the arm will just collapse. And then I will say, put your arm up and have everybody think something positive and that person's arm will stay strong. And this is what we're seeing here is these guys are building each other. And the off uh, or the side effect of it is they all lifted more than they actually thought they could. It's a powerful thing. We are so connected and you're seeing these guys bond and connect and lift. And I love to see that. I love to see people that can lift each other in this way and benefit um, from their association. That's what we're meant to do, right? We're meant to be good to each other, lift each other, inspire each other, not beat each other up. So whatever your judgment is, once you have it, let it drop. Become curious and then see what reality is. And it's okay to hold both of those. And these guys did a great job of demonstrating how that's done in a fun game of strength. But you can do this with how you meet everybody. Go ahead and look at them. Imagine how strong they are or what their spaces are. Let those judgments drop, get curious, and see how they truly measure up. See how accurate your perceptions are. And the next video that you should watch is how I unlearn dangerous um, lessons from toxic masculinity. Now, this is a good example that is a good contrast to that. I'd love to hear if you've seen examples of good masculinity in your life where you have felt like the guys around you or the people around you have lifted you to something better than you thought you could do and how you can then use that in your life to lift those around you. Like, subscribe, check out this video, The Lessons I Learned on Toxic Masculinity. It's coming up next.